Welcome back to Rambo Media and welcome back to Cardoni Week Part Three. Brought to you by the Mick the, the Mick. Brought to you by the Pick Mick for the Rambo prequel campaign. Hit it up on Facebook and join the mission. And you too can be a part of movie making history. Link in the description below. Now get a load of this article. Um published this past week, and uh, I think, yeah, I believe it was published by Global News is where I saw it. I'll just open it here. And, uh, you know, a link for this will be posted, uh, you know, t to it as well in the uh, description below. So, it says, as, report, as reported by Global News, <clears throat> people accidentally post Kirk Douglas's obituary and there's a little picture of Kirk Douglas in there with the new spot says do not pub Kirk Douglas dies all right and under that it reads an obituary for Kirk Douglas briefly appeared on people.com Toronto out of Toronto people magazine was left red-faced this weekend when it accidentally posted an, an obituary for actor Kirk Douglas on his website. Douglas, who turns 98 on December 9th, is reportedly still alive. Happy birthday, Mr. Douglas! Both, um, you know, tr the original Troutman and the original Rambo of sorts, depending on who you speak to. It goes on to read, the article appeared with the head headline, Do Not Pub, Kirk Douglas Dies, it read, Kirk Douglas, one of the few genuine box office names <clears throat> to emerge just as TV was overtaking American culture in the years right after World War II, died TK, TK, TK. He was 97, date of birth 12 9, 1916, so December 9, 1916. <clears throat> and then it reads, 1996 for some reason. Oh, he had uh, bleh, and that had been in good health despite despite having suffered a debilitating stroke in 1996 that rendered his speech difficult. <clears throat> TK is used by journalists to indicate info is to come. The post time stamped September 29th was quickly removed um, from the people site but not before thousands of people who saw it and took to Twitter to comment. Please do not pub Kirk Douglas uh, is in dead. Tweeted Nick Barnes, I'm Nick Barnes, at I'm Nick Barnes on Twitter. Patrick Fazio tweeted, Report of his death is greatly exaggerated. I hope he prints it out and takes a pic with it. Big smile, wrote Elizabeth Evans at E F E. V A N S. So they got some Twitter uh, comments here. One by Beth Rinaldi, at Beth Rinaldi, that says People Magazine published Kirk Douglas' obituary. Spartacus is still alive from Chicago, Illinois, 6:15 a.m. December 1st, 2014. Celeb Death Alert at Celeb Death Alert, bleh, at Celeb Death Alert posted on Twitter. No, he's not dead. People Magazine had reported that Kirk Douglas had died, but he is still alive. He posted that at 5.24 a.m. on the 1st of December. Um, then David Linden, at David Linden, one, Kirk Douglas is well and alive, good. Published at 7.08 a.m. on December 1st from Copenhagen, Denmark. So far, there has been no comment from people or a rep for Douglas. It is common practice for media outlets to pre-write obituaries for certain celebrities. Imagine that. Imagine that. And above, um, there's actually a link to the people thing, but I can't read all of it. It's just a little picture. It says, Kirk Douglas wanted a few gentlemen box office names to emerge. Just a TV. Oh, well, I read that part. Um, and it says, some. he was in some 75 movies, including seven co-starring his friend Burt Lancaster. Gotta love Burt Lancaster. As uh, I love how Burt Lancaster talks. Anyway, um, 
his screen presence is amazing. Um, Birdman from Alcatraz, you know. As well as 1951's highly regarded Ace in the Hole, a stinging early portrait of the media from director Billy Wilder, 1952. The 1952 Hollywood expose, The Bad and the Beautiful, and the 1956 Vincent van Gogh biopic, Lust for Life. Kirk Douglas was a superstar even, and that's all it says. That's all it says. And it's uh, funny that this article was published, because, as we all know, Kirk Douglas was the original Troutman, and in a sense, the original Rambo as well. You know, There was a lot of uh, speculation to the Rambo-esque inspiration from his character in uh, Lonely Are the Brave, um, one that Brent Whiteside, our good friend Brent Whiteside, had shared with me, um, that really just opened me up to uh, the wonderful acting of Kirk Douglas. Wonderful, wonderful movie. You should go check that out. You can find it on YouTube for free. Maybe I'll post the, uh, the link to that as well in the description below with this piece. And I guess what I'm, um, I'm trying to say is the, is the uh, inevitable. You know, if we expect the Rambo legacy to live on, we should have to expect that a new actor take up the mantle, you know, to keep that spirit alive. And it's been done before with the Force of Freedom, in a sense. And, uh, you know, Stallone himself has hinted at it again, you know, for the future, and definitely, definitely a few times in the past. And I, I think we'd all agree that there is only one man for that job, Mr. Mickey Cardoni himself. Um, when we come back, we're going to look briefly at what's to come. Um, you know, as we all send out the call to arms to unite and make uh, our own tribute to the source material, you know, Rambo fan film prequel. So, stay tuned uh, to find out how you can be a part of this historical event. And at the same time, we're going to clear up some of the smoke and mirrors regarding blood, the ghosts of war, in our first, uh, you know, in our first piece on that. So, uh, stay tuned. We'll be right back after I drink some of this Christmas cheer. Cheers. <laughs> 